Well, it's uh, Saturday, um, September 21st. I got almost 1 o'clock heading out by my brother-in-law Craig's land. Um, we want to trim down the food plot and reactivate the scrapes in the area. Get my ground blinds set up and all uh, camoed in, brushed in. Oh, get ready for bow season. So on my way up, but take a look at this weather. I don't know by the time I get there if I'll be able to do anything or I'll be sitting in the trailer in the rain. Check out what's up ahead of us. I don't know. I hope it holds off. Get some work done today. End of September. We're looking for deer and turkey. About the field. Well, there's the cows. No deer, but cows. <laughs> well, Craig beat me out there, but we're not getting through the low area. It's too wet with the lawnmower. So he got up to the low area, turned around, went back. So I'm heading out to the food plot now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he got in, got into here and that's it. It's too mucky. Well, let's start trimming. Trimming the trail open. And uh, that's what we got done so far. So, Craig's making the first pass through and I'm following up, trimming it down lower. Well, we got a new trail open. Craig went through first with the trimmer and kind of knocked it down and I followed it up and went closer to the ground so he can identify all the stumps in that to walk over. So we got that open up here to the high ground at least. You can probably tell by looking at my face and my glasses that uh, I was doing the close to the ground work. I got mud all over me. So we're heading out to the food plot and uh, going to try to knock that down and open that up. If I can get that done, we open up a new trail and if I can get the food plot all knocked down, um, then tomorrow it'll make it much easier. All the hard work's done. I just got to haul out the ground blind, get that set up, get it all camouflaged and brushed in, uh, get the mock scrapes set up and all that, and uh, um, do the trail cams, I, although I got the SD cards tonight for that, come to think of it. Got them in the backpack, so we'll switch out SD cards tonight. We'll be checking those out when we're eating supper. And tonight, I brought a couple of steaks, baked potato, and cheesy broccoli for supper, because we're working our off. <laughs> Didn't have to beep that one out. <laughs> All right, let's get out on the food plot. Well, it's not a pretty sight. Look at the growth in here. We still got all that water in the main trail. We couldn't get back here at all. This is the first time I've been back since uh, around turkey hunting, where I set up the trail cams. Well, had another couple bouts of rain, and uh, we got another little lake on the trail. So we cut around the deep water, cut out a new trail with the trimmers. But uh, yeah, it looks like I don't know when we're going to get this food plot established. So um, I guess the big thing for this year is just try to knock all this stuff down that you can see here. Blow it all out of here and uh, reset the mock scrapes. Get my blinds set up right in here and uh, hope for the best this year. One of these years we got to be able to get out here and get this food plot planted. This is the second season now where I don't have a full food plot. In fact, this year we didn't even get seeds down because of the rain and how bad the swamp area was. So, All right, time to get at it. Well, so far we've been lucky. No problems with uh, mosquitoes. We'll see what happens from here on out. At least the sun ain't out. It's hot and humid, that's for sure. Um, I think humidity was up into the 90s 
and let's get this plot trimmed. Well, there we are, about an hour into it. All right, 6.30, we didn't quite finish. We got about uh, over half, not quite three quarters. How about five eighths? We got about five eighths of the plot trimmed, if you can see here. So, it's 6.30, we got probably a good 20 minute walk back, 15 minute walk back. And uh, by the time I get cleaned up here and get back, it's gonna be pretty, pretty near dark. So, um, we're gonna call it go have our steak, baked potato, and broccoli for supper. We deserve it. Finish up whatever we gotta do here, get my blind set up, get it all camoed and brushed in, and we'll be all set for deer season. All right, I'm gonna show you the licking branch here. Wasn't a lot of activity in this first area here, but I'll show you the branch. So this thing's been knocked down pretty good so we're gonna get a fresh limb put some zip ties on to hold another limb and drop it down a little little further down and of course I uh, got this right down to the ground here we'll get in here we'll reactivate this scrape put some dominant buck urine in there and uh, see if we can't get them going on this thing again and the other one was over here by this this set of trees this one looks like they've been in it um, I see some some prints in here so okay I think I'm just gonna relax for the rest of the day eat supper we worked our butt off today we opened up that trail coming in we came around the deep water and cut that all back and did like I said about five-eighths of the food plot here so um, We'll finish her up tomorrow. That's it for today. We're gonna head back. I wasn't kidding when I said that out there. Cheesy broccoli, steak, baked potato, lineys. We're eating like kings tonight. Good meal, all at the dollar store? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's uh, Sunday afternoon, about 1.30. The rain finally stopped. We were out here last night till about 6.30. And last night sleeping, you could hear it start to rain. I woke up about two o'clock in the morning and it rained from two in the morning all through all morning long. So, um, put on my hip waders. I'm heading out. We got a break in the weather. It's a little lighter. So the clouds have uh, broken up, the gray clouds a little bit. So I'm getting out there, two goals, finish trimming down the food plot and get the SD cameras, uh, batteries put in if I need be and uh, retrieve the SD card. Sorry. We'll see what we can get done out there today and keep our fingers crossed, hopefully it's not raining. What we don't go through for deer hunting, hey? Well, we gotta knock down that stand yet. And then we'll be done with the food plot. Now it's just a matter of uh, recovering the SD cards off the trail cams, checking batteries and replacing them if we need be. That's it for today. It's starting to drizzle just a tad. 
I don't think we're gonna push it. So right now, onto the trail cams. Wow. Looks like 1,100 pictures. This has been up since uh, spring, all summer long. So uh, I'm gonna shut this off. Battery power is about three quarters. These batteries are still good. We'll shut this off. And we'll pull the card, put a new card number five in. Power it up. Everything looks good. It's taking pictures. We're good to go on this one. Three more to do. Okay, that one's working. All right, our work is done here. Food plot is open and we've got growth coming. I was worried from planting last year with the not being able to get in here and uh, do what we needed to do to keep the food plot going. But we've got uh, clover and uh, I can't think of the name of the other stuff right now that was a mix. There was clover and a couple other variety of plants that the deer like. And uh, I can see the clover all over here, even when we had those weeds growing in here. Um, we got clover, it looks like the one or two of the other plants are thriving underneath all that tall weed growth. So uh, I'll show you, take a look at this. So this is where all that tall stuff was standing out here. And you can see the stuff here coming up in here and like I said I, I can't remember the name of the other plant but I believe that's what's coming up in here uh, and uh, I, I seeded heavier on this side I was glad I did so that's it's all coming up in here here we got the grasses and stuff coming and right here you can see all of the strands of clover popping up right in here yet and this is scattered throughout the food plot we've got little strands of clover all over so uh, I'm pretty happy with that 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 came out pretty good right there so I'm real happy with that hopefully we'll have deer in here feed so here's a little 360 of our food plot area after uh, trimming all this down I'm very encouraged considering we couldn't get in here at all this year with the food plot with the water situation and now with all this rain overnight now we we're not you know that's why we're in here with hand trimmers trimming all this stuff down trying to open this up so that'll expose a food source for the deer the clover and uh, whatever that other stuff is we'll, called. Uh, we'll let you know I'll check the bag at home I got I got some more seed at home but like I said, it was like two or three different uh, food varieties for the deer. And I'm real happy to see that uh, everything came up, uh, even though the weeds crept back in and we weren't able to do what we had to do um, because of the rain again this summer. So we'll keep our fingers crossed on this food plot and let's hope it works out and produces. I'm anxious to tr check trail cams tonight. See you back at the trailer. I don't know if you're going to pick it up. I'm going to try to be real quiet here. I hear some coyote barks on the other side of this field. There's cows in this field and they're way past that. Let's see if we can pick up the barks. No, very faint, but we got coyote bark. Well, just the way my season's been going, whatever my plans are, my nature seems to throw a curve. So I got out there at one 
managed to cut down the rest of the weeds in the food plot, but then it started to drizzle. So I quick retrieved the trail cam info, info and um, came back, got everything put away, and the sun is out. Take a look at this. It's casting shadows right, right through there. There's the sun. Look at that. And of course, I'm done for the day. I, I got everything put away. So, I got tomorrow yet. Hopefully, uh, things will work out. I'll get everything done tomorrow. We'll see you guys. After retrieving the four SD cards from the trail cams and knowing I had somewhere between 1,500 to 2,000 picks to review, I was anxious to get started. But for now, don't worry. I'm only going to show you some of the highlights. Now be sure to watch for the upcoming episode entitled A Tale of Trip Eights as we follow three eight-point bucks as they each try to outdo each other to dominate the food plot area. Well, guess what? It's raining again tonight. It's about 10 after 10. I'm about ready to go to bed. It's supposed to be nice tomorrow. I don't know if you can hear it. Listen. It's pouring out there. I don't know what conditions I'm going to face tomorrow, but we're going to try to do whatever we got to do to get it done. See you in the morning if I don't float away tonight. <laughs> well, while we caught a break, it's about 9 o'clock, and check it out, I got sun. So uh, should be able to get everything accomplished. So project number one is to get out there, get the ground blind set up, camoed in, brushed in, get the licking branch set up, reactivate the mock scrapes, and uh, hopefully we get everything done. Looks like uh, cross my fingers with this weather. So it's cool in the 50s right now, in the 60s later. So it should be good weather for working, and uh, let's go get this done. Get that blind set up. Well, thank God the mosquitoes are down. So. Let's 
get the area prepped. We're going to tuck it right in, right in this area here. This is an ideal spot for it. Sun coming up from behind me and always to my left, so it'll never be in my eyes. I got clear shots all the way down and around in the food plot, so no problems that way. We're going to get this uh, area prepped first, kind of clean it up a little. ground prep. I'm going to shut off the camera and we'll turn it on a little later. You'll see uh, what it looks like a little further down the road. Be with you in a little bit. geese someplace I can hear them. There they are. Cool. Well I think that's about it for positioning it. I mean we still got to camo it and brush it in. But uh, I might tweak it a little bit and take a look in back where it opens up and make sure we're okay with that. That's the spot. Got room to open up the door in the back to get in. Now it's just a matter of getting her staked down, tied down, camo it, and brush it in. So we'll be back in a little while. You'll be surprised at what it looks like. All right, we're a little farther along on the process. As you can see, the camouflage job is done. We got camo netting on the top, and around the base, we got the camo netting set up. So that's it for the camouflage. Now we're trying to brush it in. You can see we got some limbs up trying to break up the pattern. We're going to work a little bit more on that, but I'll give you a close up here. Take a look. And those windows are open right now with the netting up. So, all right, a little more brushing in to do to camo it in. We'll show you the final product shortly. So, there we have it. I got the windows open, of course. With the back hatch open, you can kind of see in through the windows. You don't have that dark background. So here's a little quick peek at the inside. Essentially, you're going to have a one-man shooting station and maybe the other guy filming from here or sitting and watching. Let's take a peek here real quick. All right. And then uh, looking out, these are my shooting windows. Looking out over the food plot. And, uh, all done. Blinds up, camoed, brushed in. I'm ready for deer season. A oh, little closer look at uh, how we brushed everything in. And I know, I know, the deer trail goes right through here, right next to the blind. But uh, either they'll keep using it, <laughs> and I'll get like a five-yard shot, or they'll alter their travel patterns. But this is just a nice natural spot to tuck it in. 
quick look at the food plot here and yes it's growing we've got clover even right here I've got sparse clover coming up as you can see here and there the clover and the other growth for feed so uh, now that we knocked down all the tall weeds I'm real curious to see what's going to be going on here so oh yeah one last thing before I go back licking branch right here it's pretty well chewed off you can see right around here and it's up here I'm gonna look for another tree like this with these leaves and uh, I want to put a stick on here and have it come out a little longer because this is going to be my mock scrape area right here looks like we had some deer in here recently after the rain look at that nice over there too they've been in here all right we found uh, a branch extension here for our licking branch you can see that this thing's been pretty well destroyed over the last year so we're gonna use this found another tree just like this cut off the branch we are going to uh, zip tie it on like so and we just created a new licking branch there we go we got a fresh licking branch we're gonna head back we're going to come and get uh, the uh, buck urine in that. I didn't have room. We brought out a ton of stuff for that blind. We were pretty well loaded up. So I got to make a trip back and a trip out. And uh, we're going to reactivate the scrape. We've got a new licking branch ready to go. Can't wait. <laughs> See you guys in a little bit. Show you what we're doing. All right, we're down to the final things to do here out in the food plot. And I brought out some uh, odor eliminator, I guess, a spray, outdoor field spray, take human scent off everything. And because we zip tied and handled this branch, this new licking branch, I'm going to spray down a little bit of the branch that I handled and obviously where we zip tied it. So. We, uh, we want to eliminate any scent that we may leave on that branch when the deer come in and start sniffing. And uh, the other thing we're going to do with it now is uh, a ground blind. We're going to spray the entire outside of the ground blind to try to eliminate any scent from working and getting this thing set up this morning. And then we'll go inside and we'll spray down on the inside also try to eliminate any of the human scent. Then the last thing to do is to set up the mock scrapes. All right, we did the whole outside of it. Now we're gonna go inside. We're gonna spray down the inside. All right, uh, all that's left in prepping for our deer season now is to activate our mock scrapes in our food plot area. So um, I had bought this last year, it's still good. Tarsal gland hot scrape. Anyways, we're gonna get this activated and dump our uh, hot tarsal gland in here to mark this. And we've got one other mock scrape to activate. And we'll be all ready then in a couple of weeks for our start of our bow season. All right, so we've got our uh, scrape area activated, our mock scrape. Uh, we've got our new licking branch put on and uh, we put in some dominant tarsal gland scent from a buck and uh, hopefully we get some good things right here. 
All right, we've got uh, one more spot here in the food plot area that we originally didn't set up as a scrape, but all of a sudden this scrape got active. So uh, again, some trophy dominant buck urine. We're gonna get it in here and hopefully that'll fire up some bucks in the area to say, hey, this is my territory and they'll start coming here a little more often. So, uh, we're not going to scrape this one up because this one is active, uh, but we're going to activate it with uh, some, if you would say, foreign buck urine, something that hopefully they haven't noticed before and they're going to wonder what's coming in here. Our work is done. It is quarter after one. Should be back at the trailer and relaxing by 2 o'clock. And then it's just a matter of grabbing a bite to eat, pack up, and head back home. Well, not quite sure what's coming up next for us. We're either going to be hunting deer by Craig with our bow, or we're going to be up by me musky fishing, or doing some cabin work. So whatever it is, we'll see you next time. Bye. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos and my channel. A big thank you for that. Now feel free to comment below or if you don't want your comments available in the public eye, we can also be reached at rapidoutdoors 360 at gmail.com. And if you know a friend you think may enjoy this video series, please feel free to share this with him or share our link. And always, whether you fish or hunt, Make sure you practice CCR, Catch, Conserve, Replenish. Make sure that there are resources available for future generations. We'll see you all next time.